Hello my gaming family and welcome. After 8 long years, Mountain Blade Bannerlord is finally here. I know most of you were very impatient, but the game is finally here and before we go a little deeper into details, I must emphasize that the Mountain Blade Bannerlord fulfilled all my expectations and that game is simply brilliant. Anyway, before we start, I just want to thank you for all support so far. It really means a lot. A like and subscribe would be of a great use. And you can also consider supporting this channel on Patreon, if you like, of course. And one thing that I want to share with you guys. I found this awesome website, DL Compare. It's a great tool for comparing prices of games. If you're interested, you can check them out, I'll leave link in the description of this video. Now, back to topic. Early access of Mountain Blade Bannerlord is finally out and it have over 200,000 active players at this moment. I personally have only few hours in game, but with what I saw in these few hours, I can freely say that game was definitely worth of waiting. Bannerlord is basically improved Warband, but I don't say that's bad, just the opposite. I consider Warband an exceptional game, and just upgrading every segment of that game is full blow. As it was expected, graphics and details are amazing. But the animations guys, they are absolutely perfect. Body movements, animations while riding horse, combat animations, oh they are especially good. That moment when you hit or kill enemy, the animation further enhanced the sense of satisfaction at that moment. Combat itself looks a lot like that one we had in Warband. With improved animations, graphics and details, it can be hypnotic. You can find yourself fighting in arenas for hours, without the possibility of getting bored in any moment. Like its predecessor, Bannerlord's combat has you determine the direction of your attack with your mouse, letting you sneak your sword through enemy's defense. Precision and right moment reaction are keys in combat. If you didn't play it a lot for band and you are not skilled in combat, you can find fighting in Bannerlord a little difficult, but eventually, with little practice, you will master all techniques. Thing that I find really interesting is that NPCs behave much smarter. For example, they can suddenly switch direction of their attacks and easily trick you. First few times it was fascinating to me. I felt like I was playing in multiplayer mode and not against NPCs. Music in game is absolutely amazing. It totally fulfilled that medieval experience you have while playing. In character creation section, you are literally going through the same process like in Warband, but this time complete with video support in background. I like it a lot. New thing in game that you probably gonna like is the ability to create your own clan, choose banner and family name, and to build your clan through game. I don't know why, but this idea of creating a clan sounds much more interesting and appealing to me than the idea of creating a kingdom itself. Given that the game is still in early access, you will have everything you need for a complete gaming experience. Though we can expect that Tale Worlds add some more quests, multiplayer options and some other things as they say. One thing that I didn't like it was that I had a little problems with stuttering here and there. But I won't rush with condemnation and I'll credit that to the fact that game is still in early access. This was my first impressions, I haven't played a lot and I just scratched the surface. All in all, I think that game deserves your attention definitely. And guys, don't wait, don't think, you should go and invest your time in Bannerlord, it will pay off. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that thumb up button if you like this video. I'm Baldard and you're in place where everything is about gaming. Until next time, see ya and stay cool.